Hi, Diversity Talks is a program supporting the professional community. Now come on in. Are you ready? Relax, come on in, have a few laughs, and enjoy today's program. I am your host, Joy St. Cyr, your business strategist. Hi, it's Joy St. Cyr, your host of Diversity Talks, and today we're going to take it on the street to talk about today's show topic, and let's see what everyone has to say about today's show topic. Betsy, as the director of membership for my networking group, the Entrepreneurs Supporting Entrepreneurs, I know you believe in the power of networking, but I want to just hear from you. How do you see that being active and participating in a networking group is so beneficial to anyone? Well, first of all, Joyce, uh, with the group that we're involved in as being the director of membership, I think it's really important that you show your face up and that you're committed to that particular group. People get to know you by that. If you go to one group and you're just going one time, people don't remember you. But if you come two or three times and you're committed to that group, you start making real quality connections. And that's what networking is all about, is making that quality connection with someone so that you can refer them out. Or they know you and they remember your face. They say, oh, yeah, I remember her. And then they refer you out for business and because you pop it in their head because they've seen you so many times so yeah I believe it's very powerful so I know you're active with me in a networking event so how many events do you usually attend on a weekly basis Probably, I would say, at the most, I've attended three a week, and usually it's about two. I try to save some time during my week for administrative things, and then I make special times to network. And I don't go to just every group that's out there, because there's thousands. I make sure that the groups that I'm involved with are actually giving me a return on my investment. Do you believe the power of networking? Of course. I'm in network marketing. Of, of course I do. Um, um, definitely being able to talk to people and being able to see what makes others tick and what you can do for someone and someone can do for you. And not even more of what you can do for them, you know, just helping people to find out a common bond in the meeting of the mind, so yes. How often do you attend networking events? Well, I'm, I can't, I can't lie, it's only been two, but it's been hers. So, you know, I, I definitely um, had a good experience with them, so I will be continuing with them. Do you believe there's a power in networking? Without question. What, what do you believe that power is? Oh, uh, contacts, referrals. Do you believe power, the power in networking? I absolutely believe in the power of networking. And why is that? Because when I first started my business, another business that I had, I started networking, and I immediately got referrals, and I had a good network of people of which who I could refer to. Awesome. So how often do you go out to networking events? A minimum of two to three a week. I go very often. Do you attend the same networking events or do you go to different ones? Every once in a while I try a new one and I've discovered your group that I really love. And once I find one that I feel, you know, reaches my audience or just like-minded people, I tend to stick with them for a while. Hi. Thank you for tuning in to Diversity Talks, and I am your host, Joy St. Cyr. I want to thank you and my guest today for joining me in a powerful discussion. Today's topic, the power of networking. So before we start today's discussion, let's say hello to our guest. Hello, Joyce. I'm uh, Jose Espelot. I am a, uh, a partner with one of the, uh, the major insurance carriers here in Charlotte. Hi, I'm Carletta McMillan, and I am the owner of Beyond Revealed Media and also the talk show host for Beyond Revealed TV. Hey, I'm Luann Stanton, and I help families and small businesses find affordable ways to protect their lifestyle. And I'm Robert Sunigan, uh, a new uh, uh, resident here to uh, Carolinas and uh, uh, just starting out here in the area. Hi, I'm Khalil Gonzalez. I'm starting up my own record label by the name of Revolutionary Empire here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Now guys, before we start talking about the power of networking, the purpose of Diversity Talk is a program to help professionals build upon their skill set. And today's topic is definitely something needed. So I'm really excited and I thank you again for just joining this <laughs> discussion. So networking, 
Networking is the opportunity to meet new individuals in your circle. So before we go into anything, I'd just like to hear, what do you think, what is the definition of networking to you? It's a means of, of um, basically building re relationships. You know, networking isn't necessarily just about going to a meeting or going to an event just to shake hands and hand out business cards. Right. So after your, you know, your networking is basically, like you say, just building relationships. Right. Anybody else has any definition? What do you believe? Say so networking is just coming out of your comfort zone, building the courage to go out there, have courage in yourself, courage in your product, whatever you're trying to do, connect with others who believe in the same thing, mm -hmm. and basically connect. And my point of view is that uh, networking is about problem solving. Mm. You know, that you come across other individuals that are trying to accomplish something to make it through the day, to make it through their next step in business, and uh, hopefully you can collaborate. And I would say networking is just a group of uh, individuals of like-minded professionals uh, getting together for, uh, for a common cause, whether it is building your business or some types of interest that they may have. So I would say that's my definition. Well, I love that each one of you shared somewhat of a definition of the power of networking. And the power of networking allows you to actually share your brand, build upon your brand, help you learn new skill sets, and just an opportunity to understand how to invest into yourself. So saying that, do you believe there's a power into networking to help you build you and your business? I know we said this relationship building, but go a little bit more into the power of networking. Although I believe the power of networking is the, uh, the power of getting to know other individuals' uh, networks. So if I just look at my network alone, that, that can just go so far. But if we take everybody in this table, everybody has a uh, number of people, colleagues, friends, relatives that, that they know. Mm -hmm. And it's just the fact that if we're getting together and there's a common cause, we're looking to help each other out, uh, you may be able to share your network, and I would do the same with mine. Oh, I, when you <laughs> said that, something, so I just got a trail. So think about this then. So there's definitely an advantage into networking, it, the ability to meet new people, to learn, um, to gain referrals, and so forth. However, tell me some advantages that you've experienced networking. For myself, I say just alone today, I met three different individuals, opened doors to places I would never have seen if I never came out of my comfort zone and actually introduced myself and connected with them. It just, it's a chance and opportunity to open different doors that you never thought were there. Wow, awesome. So opportunity. Right. And one of the things about networking for me is that it gives me an opportunity to test my message. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the things that uh, is important as a, you know, an entrepreneur especially is to continually market yourself mm -hmm. and market your message. Mm -hmm. And so just to have it on paper, just to have it, you know, at home where you refine it, you've got to go out there in the community, you've got to shake hands, mm -hmm. you've got to share your message and see what parts of it are resonating and fine tune it so that way you can find that target market that you're after. Now, personally, I facilitate uh, a networking group called the Entrepreneurs Supporting Entrepreneurs Group. And one of the major advantages, it depends where your role is, if you're a participant or if you're the facilitator or you're a member of the rectors. And the opportunity that I've gained the advantages is the ability to meet everyone that attends the networking event. Mm -hmm. And we know some of the downfalls, and we'll get into that later, is that you really don't have a chance to connect with people that's attending the networking event. Mm -hmm. But being the facilitator, everyone, all eyes is on you. So that's a major advantage when you determine to take control and actually facilitate a networking event. In addition to that, I've learned so much from people within my network because of the fact that providing workshops, I kind of join partnership with other individuals in the community and learn from them as well. So instead of me having to go out and actually finding the information, the information comes to me. So for me, the power of networking is huge. And not only that, I mean the referrals. Sure. I get, I usually work with people who attend my networking sure. event. It's my warm lead. Sure. It's the opportunity that people can see me as a leader. Mm -hmm. They can hear me share knowledge and so forth. So tell me, have any of you experienced something like that as well? Oh, always. I mean, you know, one of the things about networking and going out in the community and doing exactly what you're mentioning is that there is nothing like an invitation to somebody's 
door. Mm -hmm. You know, to go cold, you know, calling and, and knocking on doors, mm -hmm. I'm telling you, it'll take all the energy out of you. Mm -hmm. But if you go network and you go meet people and you introduce yourself and develop the relationships and that's all part of it, mm -hmm. it takes time, mm -hmm. but it's an investment. Mm -hmm. Then those those nice and invitations to, to people's houses and their world, mm -hmm. you can't beat it because they're welcoming your message at that point. And I, to say on that, um, it builds trust. Yes. A lot of people, you know, it's hard to trust. Yes. Just because you have a business that I may uh, be interested in mm -hmm. doesn't necessarily, I trust your character. Mm -hmm. So when you have these refer mm -hmm. referrals, then, you know, you can also trust that person and trust their word. Mm -hmm. And I love that you mentioned trust because the key factor that I share with people when they come to the Entrepreneurs Supporting mm -hmm. Entrepreneurs Networking Group is consistency. Mm -hmm. When someone sees that you come back and they hear you share, mm -hmm. then they could really develop trust because trust is not automatically given. So it takes time. And the fact that that you mentioned the trust, but if I send a referral, mm -hmm. believe me, the person that I'm sending says, if Joyce sent you, then I know it's a good referral. That's why I'm very conscious when I do give referrals, I'll say this is someone I've worked with, or I'll say this is someone I've met, but I haven't had the opportunity to really learn about them and their business. So I think it's really important, and I believe it's a due diligence on my behalf as a facilitator to share those referrals, even as a participant, when I'm gonna give my information. So there's definitely a lot of advantage I want someone to share something that you've learned during a networking event. Um, something I've learned during a networking event, basically <clears throat> establishing myself, everything I say, everything I do, all eyes are on me, basically. <laughs> like, once you start a brand, anything, everybody's looking at you. Mm -hmm. Everybody's looking your direction. You say you want to do this, mm -hmm. but you can't say you want to, for example, say you want to sing gospel mm -hmm. and then go on Facebook or Twitter and speak in this type of tone or this type of manner, you know? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, we're going to get there. Oh, <laughs> don't jump too much now. Anybody else want to share anything about the advantage of networking? You know, a lot of the advantages of networking is expanding your circle. Mm -hmm. um, something that Jose said earlier was when you are consistent with a group, you do get to tap into other people's network. Mm -hmm. It's been said that every single person has at least 200 people in their inner part of their life mm -hmm. and if I become friends with you then that opens up those 200 mm -hmm. which opens those 200 which right. opens those 200 mm -hmm. you know networking is made because we need to connect we are a relational type people mm -hmm. and so we want to be together with people we want to know hey what does his business do how does he do it different from me mm -hmm. and the thing that I love about the entrepreneurs supporting entrepreneurs is it's not like the other connection groups that are in town where there's only one per industry mm -hmm. anybody can come to these networking groups mm -hmm. and it's known you buy from people you like, mm -hmm. you buy from people you trust, mm -hmm. and you buy from people who have what you need. Mm -hmm. And so if there are more than one person in there, you're gonna find that, oh, I'm drawn to that person where I may not be so drawn to that person. Mm -hmm. And that's a wonderful advantage of having a big networking group. Definitely so. Well, unfortunately, there's pros and there's cons, okay? <laughs> and <laughs> in everything that we do, <coughs> and it's really important regardless of what type of business that we're in or we have, or even as we're trying to advance in our careers, that we understand that networking is essential. But we also have to be mindful that there's some disadvantages in networking. And each time, you know, y you hear people say, oh, I don't want to hear about the negatives. <laughs> However, I want us to share to our viewers to understand it's essential, you, you need to network. However, there's you have to look out for some pitfalls right. into networking. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> Lord knows, uh, you know, we don't want me to say all of mine, but That's before right. I share, I would like you to maybe share a little bit, some things to be mindful, mm -hmm. some disadvantages into networking. I can tell you some, some personal story early on in, in my, I call it my networking career, I guess if I can call it that. Not, not really understanding what networking was, the value of it, and, and actually how, how to network properly. Mm 
mm -hmm. uh, where I, I was ultimately coming into a network with, in a mindset of, hey, I want to uh, close business. I mm -hmm. want to write business from this person, yeah. and and you know that that that's a very that's a big disadvantage, mm -hmm. you know. And and you can today, uh, consider I've done a lot of network, and I can kind of sense that a mile away and just back away, and then I don't want to mm -hmm. have anything to do with that person. And that's where they looked at me mm -hmm. at, at one point, and and when I finally understood that no networking is about relationships, mm -hmm. that that's what we're talking about about giving back uh -huh. you know if you give back to somebody if you just continue to give and genuinely give uh -huh. not just with, with with something in mind uh, then it's just human nature that it's gonna come back to you uh -huh. and uh, and that's that's exactly what happened to me when I realized that and I just started giving back hey how I ca how can I help you tell me about your business uh -huh. and, and really not saying much about me uh -huh. and then eventually having them ask tell me about you uh -huh. uh, and, and that way they, they see that you're not in there just to, to make a sale uh -huh. you're not in there for uh, or for whatever your purpose may be that, that, that you're networking. Mm -hmm. So, you know, just just giving back and being mm -hmm. genuine about what you do when you network, you know, is, it, it's a positive. So, but the disadvantage of it is people like I was five years ago, <laughs> you know, just going in there um, with just with one mentality, and that's just a hey, I gotta I gotta make a sale on this person. Because yeah, right. very often mm -hmm. I share to clients that if you go to a networking event with the perception that you're going to walk away with a sale, mm -hmm. you shouldn't even go. Right. right. Because you should just go in and just have an opportunity to meet someone mm -hmm. new. And from there, that initial uh, relationship building is there to determine could this be a potential client mm -hmm. or a referral for you to send you someone else in the future. So before, I, I don't want to share any of my disadvantages because I think I'm in a different position facilitating. I've, I see different uh, views of disadvantage uh, networking. Let's see, one thing that you do that turns that mm. selfish networker, um, I don't want to say in, into a disappointed experience for them, mm -hmm. but you have a very unique approach in your networking group where you pass the basket. Mm -hmm. And the first time I saw the basket going around, I'm like, oh, we're taking a collection, <laughs> you know? <laughs> what is this? But what it is is you put a business card in it. Right. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you want me to continue. Yeah, Some go ahead. People yeah. Are, are watching. They might like, steal it. It's okay because no one is like Joyce. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but then she, you put your business card in it. That's mm -hmm. your contribution. Mm -hmm. And then she passes it again, and everyone takes a card out. Mm -hmm. That is priceless because when I go to a networking event, I put four cards in my hand or my pocket, my wallet, whatever I've got with me. That's all I'm planning on passing out because I don't want to be like Jose was five years ago where you're passing it out to everybody. Mm -hmm. You want to be selective on who you do business with and who right. you do build a relationship with. Mm -hmm. So when Joyce passes that basket around for the second time and everyone takes a card out, then you can say, ah, Jose, I got your card this week. Mm -hmm. And it forces that to be an advantage rather than a disadvantage. Exactly. So I appreciate that in your networking. Thank event. you for sharing. Yes. Thank you sure. so much. Yeah, one of the things that, uh, you know, again, everyone's got to start from somewhere. Mm -hmm. And uh, my background, you know, when I initially started to uh, be in, in transition and become an entrepreneur, um, I literally had no sales and marketing uh, skills at all. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know it was it was horrid. And one of the one of the challenges that you know I met in terms of my growth as a, a networker is to recognize the difference between being competitive and being collaborative. And the competitive person will go out there and try to put everybody in their sales funnel from.